In this video, I want to talk about how we torture people with innate immune system dysfunction under the guise of helping them. And I'm sorry if the, the noise from the road is really loud. I'm just trying to save gas, and so I'm sitting in, in this Starbucks parking lot right in front of a busy highway. There have been a lot of tweets lately that made me angry. The first was one saying that autism isn't a disorder. It was a thread saying that. And while I do agree with that basic proposition, the person really went too far in emphasizing the positive aspects of autism without acknowledging the more frustrating aspects. And the people who deal with the more frustrating aspects the least are the ones doing this. And the people who deal with the frustrating aspects the most aren't getting any help ever. And so that's why that makes me angry. The second one was one talking about suicide. And it was a fucking normie discussing how to, how to language about suicide in the media. And a lot of the things that person was saying were fine. But one thing they said was that when someone kills themselves, it's never the fault of the people around them. And that's not true. And the fact that normies are so quick to tell each other that is literally why people kill themselves. This person had the best of intentions, but that is a lie that is incredibly harmful and counterproductive in suicide prevention. If you've watched many of my other videos, you've probably heard me say already that suicide is caused by elevated histamine and that the only way to prevent suicide is to give people the capacity to control their histamine levels, which you cannot do with medication alone because there are eight different types of histamine receptors and we only have medications that work on three of them technically and two of them practically because there's only one H3 antihistamine in existence as far as I know and it's prescription only and I've never met anyone who's taking it. Eight histamine receptors, two of them we have meds for. And histamine, while I think it's probably the most important inflammatory marker when it comes to behavior, is not the only inflammatory marker that people need to be able to control. You don't have the capacity to block the receptors for some of the others, these other inflammatory markers, so you have to be able to avoid triggers. So, when I say how we torture people with innate immune system dysfunction, here are the people that I'm talking about. People with significant mental health struggles, people who are suicidal, people who are experiencing addiction, people who are experiencing homelessness, people who experience dissociation and rage and become physically abusive. Those are the people who have the dysregulation of the innate immune system. And what do we do to these people? We put them in communal housing, in an environment that they have absolutely no control over, using highly industrialized products with a constantly changing array of complete strangers who come in and do shift work who are all covered in tobacco and fragrance and all of these things that trigger the release of histamine. This is the absolute worst solution. Putting someone in an institution is the worst solution. It is the literally worst thing that we could be doing to people in these situations. And when I say addictions and mental health struggles, I am very much including eating disorders because histamine is such a huge part of appetite regulation and it also causes shame and paranoia and self-loathing. Taking these people who already have all of these problems and putting them in an institutional environment where they are powerless to protect themselves from inflammatory triggers is the worst thing we could be doing. And it is literal torture to do that to someone and expect them to get better. This is torture. You're denying people of the ability to eat, sleep, take a normal, much less deep breath and think clearly at all. You're condemning people 
to a constant hell of all of these incredibly overwhelming and terrifying emotions, the darkest emotions that humanity can experience. Because that is what histamine does when you're powerless and there is no joy in your life because you're locked in hell by people who don't understand what's wrong with you. Neurotypicals have murdered so many neurodivergent people. And I think the 20th century was probably the worst for it. Though, I don't know a whole lot about exactly how many people were destroyed by poorhouses in Victorian England or whatever. You know, like, I'm not an expert on history, so I can't make that claim definitively. But I do know that it was really bad for a lot of people. And the more marginalized someone was, the more likely it was for that system to destroy them entirely. Stop killing us. Stop torturing us. Stop gaslighting us. Stop abusing us. Stop being literally evil. Stop doing the worst possible option and expecting us to thank you for it. That's evil. That is what evil means.